Mr. Chair, I yield two minutes to the gentlewoman from Illinois, Ms. Schakowsky, who chairs our Consumer Protection Subcommittee. The gentlewoman's recognized for two minutes. So I lived the days before abortion was safe and legal in the United States of America, and I remember the desperation of women, some of them my friends, some of whom had to make really dangerous decisions about how they were going to be able to exercise control over their own bodies and make this most personal decision on their, uh, on their own. Some women died because they sought these dangerous methods on their own to end an, uh, a pregnancy. And so let's be clear. Roe v. Wade wasn't the beginning of women having abortions. Oh, no. It was the end of women dying from abortions. Abortion is health care. And when Roe v. Wade finally became the, the, the law of the land, women were able finally to control their own bodies. This bill is about freedom. And one of the most precious freedoms that we have is the freedom to travel from state to state in the United States of America. What happens to the woman who is heavily pregnant, who may be going to visit her family in, 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 in Illinois, where, thank God, abortion is still legal? Are you going to check her out? Is she going to have to prove somehow that she's not going for an abortion? How are you going to force this without going into all the personal history of people who are traveling, women traveling across state lines? This is enough is enough. In the United States of America, the right to travel is sacred. It is protected under the Commerce Clause, and we will not go back. Women will not go back back. I yield back. The gentleman from New Jersey reserves. The gentleman